Good evening, this is Kelly with the vlog coming at you again for July 23rd, 2021. Today in this video, I was going to talk about psychic power. In my last couple videos, I talked about opening the third eye and then I talked about the law of attraction and manifestation. But um, there's also a very, very part to that law of attraction manifestation open your third eye that really really is really important in order to access all that what you need to have is somewhat psychic power psychic power is something that can be accessed more likely but then, but then again now everybody's different but like as for me I accessed my highest psychic power during the full moon. Because during the full moon, your emotions run high. Your emotions are a little more, you know, rampant. And you're um, kind of like just, you know, it's just that's the way it goes. So to enhance your psychic power, that goes into the opening of the third eye. You know, like what I was saying in my last couple of videos, you know. As you can tell, you look at me right now, I look like I'm being very emotional because I'm psychic. I have, you know, a pretty much open third eye, but sometimes I, you know, I get kind of, you know, because, you know, it's, you know, stress, you know, I'm an Uber driver. I mean, you know, when you have stress, you know, you, you get kind of, you know, it's, it's a little challenging sometimes. So... Psychic power is a very thing that is very, very sacred for some people. And to access it, you have to do certain types of meditations, like I've mentioned in my previous videos. You know, listening to 852, the 852 frequency and, um, and having crystals that are around you. You know, like having amethyst, lapis luzi. Lapis Luzi. Now that is a powerhouse crystal. If you really want to have more psychic power, Lapis Luzi can really, 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 really benefit you a lot. And, you know, and I was mentioning in my previous videos about drinking water with no fluoride and having toothpaste with no fluoride. That stuff is very, um, it's very important. And having, you know, your fruits, your vegetables. And, um, and another thing about accessing psychic power is, is also is, um, keeping yourself grounded. Because sometimes, you know, when your emotions get kind of going, you know, haywire and stuff, you have to ground yourself. You have to ground your energies. And you have to stabilize yourself so you can manifest the things that you want into your life. You know, as for me, my manifestation is all about manifesting a YouTube channel where I can be successful on it. And um, <clears throat> it'll take some while. My channel is still small, but, um, but it, I, I'll get there. You know, all do things, all do things, things, excuse me, all do things come in good time. And, um, and, you know, being out in the sunlight and, and all that stuff is, um, is really, 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 uh, really, really powerful. Um, but it also depends on what type of person you are, how you access your psychic power. I mean, some people, you know, are just not interested in psychic power and, but if you want to attract, the, if you want to manifest the things that you want into your life, being more psychic can definitely help. And during a full moon, that can give you all the abundance and all the things that you desire. You know, if it's either it's money, if it's love, it's, you know, a new house, a new car, you know, all the things that life has to offer. And it's all tied in with the third eye and being psychic. And, um, 
and um, not being angry. You know, sometimes when you get angry, you feel upset, you know. One of the most important things that I've noticed along my journey about manifestation and law of attraction is sometimes you just gotta learn how to laugh. Laughter is one of the best things that you can possibly do because that releases the stress in your body. And um, because, you know, like I was saying in my previous video, I was saying that I had sacred knowledge about from the from thousands of years ago from the ancients. And um, there's a lot of lot of lot of power out of the, you know, from the ancients, you know, like the thing about the thou, you know, where you take the, the four fingers and then you use the thou. And then you set your intentions right here through meditation. Now that, now that is very, very powerful about Tho. You know, how you can use Tho to attract what you want. And, um, and there's so many things that I gonna I would love to tell you all in, in these videos but I noticed my audience retention is a little you know it, it you guys got to watch a little longer you know if you really want to learn about law of attraction and manifestation you have to <laughs> you have to watch my videos all the way through um but you know anyway I you know I appreciate the support that I've been getting you know it means a lot excuse me but, you know, back to what I was saying about the full moon and um, about attracting what you want into your life, having an open, activated third eye can give it all to you. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And as always, be happy. Keep on vlogging and then attract what you want into your life. Thank you.